Are you trying to connect your browser to an Arduino, but hitting a wall with Chrome extensions? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into how to access serial port functionality in your Chrome extensions, especially now that Chrome apps are being phased out. I totally get how frustrating it can be when you're excited to build something cool, only to be stopped by technical limitations. Many developers are facing similar challenges as Chrome transitions away from its older app models. Let's look at the specific issue at hand. One user asked, how should I access the serial functionality of Chrome apps or extensions now that they are sunsetting? This is a great question, and it highlights a common concern among developers. So what's the deal with the serial port access? Chrome has indeed deprecated Chrome apps, which means that the traditional way of accessing serial ports through extensions is no longer supported. But don't worry, there are still ways to achieve your goal. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to work around these limitations and get your Arduino talking to your browser. To access the serial functionality in a Chrome extension, the user should first consider using the Web Serial API. This API allows web applications to communicate with serial devices directly from the browser. Next, the user needs to ensure that their browser supports the Web Serial API. They can check the compatibility on the official documentation or by testing in a supported browser. After confirming compatibility, the user should create a basic HTML file that includes a button to request access to the serial port. This is done using the navigator.serial.requestPort method. Finally, the user should implement the logic to read from and write to the serial port once access is granted. This involves using the port.readable and port.writable streams. Fun fact, the Web Serial API is a game changer for developers. It opens up a world of possibilities for web applications to interact with hardware directly. How cool is that? Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. One alternative solution is to use the Web Serial API, which can be accessed through navigator.serial. This API allows direct serial communication from a progressive web app. It has been available since Chrome version 77, and it will be fully supported in version 83. For more guidance, there's a helpful tutorial available at the Google Code Labs website. It's also advised to avoid the older Chrome.serial, as Chrome apps will no longer be supported starting June 2020. Let's move forward and look at another answer. One alternative approach is to use nw.js as the runtime for your app. This allows you to write your Chrome app and access the Chrome.serial API, but instead of running it in Chrome, you run it in the nw.js executable. Another option is to use a Node.js package called Serial Port to access your COM port. You can create either an ebu.js app or an Electron app, which is popular for its access to the Node module ecosystem and Chromium. This method is also recommended by Google as a migration path for accessing native functionalities. Here's a pro tip. Always handle errors gracefully when requesting serial access. This will improve user experience and help you debug any issues that arise. And there you have it. You now know how to access serial port functionality in your web applications. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks on web development.